visit jilworldwide.org and find helpful materials for your Christian growth. Find a JIL church near you. Watch timely teachings from JIL pastors. Watch JIL services live from the convenience of your home through your desktop, PC, tablet, or smartphone. Watch video podcasts from none other than the spiritual director and international president of the Jesus is Lord Church Worldwide, Brother Eddie C. Villanueva. Read motivational articles and devotional materials, freebies, and downloadables. Witness the latest happenings on JIL churches worldwide through Omniscrew. Support the ministry by placing your business ads. And a lot more. For more information, log on to JILWorldwide.org now. God dead? Raise up your hands, please. And everybody declare, Our God is not dead. Our, Our God is not dead. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Heritage Hotel. Over Heritage Hotel. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Pasay City. Over Pasay City. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Metro Manila. Over Metro Manila. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Nueva Ecija. Over Nueva Ecija. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Quezon. Over Quezon. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Luzon. Over Luzon. Visayas. Visayas. And Mindanao. And Mindanao. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over the Philippines. Over the Philippines. And all over the world. And all over the world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. You may be seated, please. Ngayon ho, ang aking uh, teaching message ay pinamagatang kong The Healing Church of Jesus Christ. The Healing Church of Jesus Christ. Ang unang punto na nais ko hong i-share sa teaching na ito is the birth of the Church of Jesus Christ. Matthew 16, verse 13 to verse 19. Everybody read. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, He asked His disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Listen carefully, please. Dito po sa puntong ito ng banal na kasulatan, tinanong ni Jesus yung kanyang mga alagad, Ano ang sabi ng mga tao sa labas? Sino raw ba ako? Anong pagkakilala nila sa akin? Ang sabi po nila, Panginoon, ikaw marahil si John the Baptist na nabuhay na muli. O si Propeta Jeremiah ng Old Testament. O kaya si Elijah. Yung iba nagsasabing one of the prophets ka. Ang tanong ni Jesus, ang sabi ni Jesus, E kayo, sino ba ako sa inyong pagkakaalam? Sino ba ako sa inyo? So he said to them, 
But who do you say that I am? Anong sagot? Anong sagot ni Peter? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus said, Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. Ang pangalan ni Peter nung una, Simon Barjona, binigyan naman siya ng pangalan eventually <coughs> na Peter. Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Ano ibig sabihin ng church? Ang church ho hindi yung building. Ang church ho, hindi yung registered sa Securities and Exchange Commission. Ang tunay na church, the mystical body of Jesus Christ, the universal church, yung sinasabi rito sa ating binasa sa, sa Matthew 16. Uh, nang sabihin ni Peter, uh, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Sabi ni Peter sa Matthew chapter 16, verse uh, 16. Ang sabi ni Jesus, Sa verse 17, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Listen carefully, please. Yung sinabi ni Jesus na ito, na you are Peter, sa, sa Greek word, language, yung Peter ay small stone. You are Peter, a small stone. Upon this rock, Pet, Pe, uh, yung Peter, Petros, yung, upon this rock, I will build my church. Yung rock ho na yun, massive rock, Petra, massive rock. Upon this rock of revelation that the Father revealed to you that I am the Christ, I will build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against her. And I, have, I am giving thee all the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Ito po ang isang revelation na hindi naintindihan ng bilyong-bilyong tao kaya nag-aaway ang mga tao sa relihiyon. Ang sabi ni Jesus, Sino ako sa inyo? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Ibig sabihin ng Christ, Messiah. The only Redeemer sent by the Father for the salvation of the sinful humanity. You are the Messiah. Ikaw ang Mesias. You are the Christ. And upon this revelation that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, Jesus said, Upon this revelation of the truth that I am the Christ, revealed to you not by man, not by flesh and blood, but by by my Father in heaven, I will build my church. And this church, according to, to Bible scholars, ang church, dalawang ibig sabihin niya na eh, isang universal church at saka isang local church. Ang real meaning of the church, so, the Greek word ekklesia, ekklesia, E-K-K-L-E-S-I-A, Ecclesia refers to a meeting of a people called out and summoned together. In New Testament, it designates primarily the congregation of God's people in Christ who come together as citizens of God's kingdom. Ephesians 2.19 For the purpose of worshiping God. So makikita po natin ang, ang church ay ang ibig sabihin ecclesia, meeting of people called out and summoned together to worship God in spirit and in truth. Meron pang isa ho, the word church can refer also to local church. 
sa Matthew 18 verse 17. Halimbawa, yung local church, meron ditong uh, merong nagkasala sa inyo. Ang dapat na gawin ninyo, kausapin nyo siya. Magharapan kayo, mag-usap kayo. Pag ayaw makinig sa iyo, ayaw magpakorek, magsama ka ng isa o dalawang witnesses. Pag ayaw pa rin makinig, isumbong mo na sa church, sa congregation. Yun ang local church. So, may local church, merong universal church. But sa kabuuan, the church of, the, of, of Christ is the body of Christ, the congregation of men and women who were purchased by the blood of Jesus, called out at na mga na born again sila and they are together in God's kingdom worshiping the Father. Kaya yun po ang, ang katotohanan tungkol sa church. Kaya hindi dapat nagdidibate at nag-aaway ang iba't ibang mga religion. Ngayon, pangalawang punto na nais kong bigyan din ngayon, the healing church of Jesus Christ, punta na po tayo sa James chapter 5. Makikita natin sa James chapter 5, God's command for His church to be the healing center. Basahin natin ang James chapter 5, verse 14 to verse 15. Is any one of you sick? Anong sabi ng Diyos? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him or her and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Basahin natin yung, yung 13. Mula sa 13. Makikita ho natin ang great difference ng solution ng Panginoon. Everybody read. Is any one of you in trouble? Sabi ng Diyos. Is any one of you in trouble? What is the solution of the Lord? He should pray. If you are in trouble, if you are problematic, the solution of the Lord is pray. Pray. Is anyone happy? Kay ba'y masaya? Let him sing songs of praise. Kung kay masaya, umawit kayo ng, ng, ng hymns, ng praise, ng, 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 ng psalms. He, let him sing songs of praise or spiritual songs. Ngayon, is anyone of you sick? Meron bang may sakit sa inyo? Anong sabi ng verse 14 up to verse 15? Everybody read again with understanding. Is anyone of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Yung church rito, yun ang local church. This is a local church. Marami hong local churches eh. Churches in Rome, churches in Galatia, churches in Epeso, in Epeso churches in Thessalonica, etc., etc. Mga local churches. But the mystical body, the universal body of Christ is the universal church. Ano man ang pangalan yan, ano man ang pangalan kinakainiba natin sa local churches, kung tayo tunay na born again, kung tayo nakaranas ng transformation ng ating spiritual being, kasama tayo sa genuine body of Christ. Kasama tayo sa church to be raptured without spot, without wrinkle, without blemish. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26 and or 27. Yung, yung radiant church, yung glorious church, without stain, without, with, without wrinkle or any blemish, but holy and blameless. Yun ang to be presented to her. Her, meaning to say, present her, the church, to himself. Himself means the groom. The Lord Jesus Christ. Yun ay pagdating sa rapture of the church. Dahil magsisimula pagkatapos nun ang regime ni Antichrist dito sa lupa. Pero tayong mga tunay na sumampalataya kay Jesus ay nagkakaroon ng merrymaking for seven years sa langit. At dito naman, ang mga hindi sumampalataya kay Jesus ay nagsasapir ng seven years great tribulation. Purihin ng Panginoon, ikaw at ako ay nasa piling ng Panginoon magpakailanman. Amen? Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Amen. Now, dito po sa, sa James, everybody read one more time. Is any one of you sick? He should call the elders of the church 
to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Sabi ng Diyos, meron bang may sakit sa inyo? Ayaw na ayaw ng Diyos na ang tao ay may sakit. Ang sakit ay hindi kalooban ng Diyos sa tao. Ang may gusto na ang tao ay may sakit ay si Satanas, ang kaaway ng Diyos. Sabi sa John 10.10, Jesus said, The thief, referring to Satan, cometh not but to steal, is steal the blessings of God, to kill, to kill, magdala ng sakit, aksidente, lahat ng klase ng para pumatay, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I came to give life and have it more abundantly, John chapter 10, verse 10. Kaya sa 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, the Son of God, referring to Jesus, was manifested that He might destroy the works of the devil. Ayaw ng Diyos ang kanyang mga anak ay may sakit. Kahit hindi nga niya anak ay ayaw niyang may sakit eh. Dahil nilalang ng Diyos ang bawat tao ayon sa wangis at, at larawan ng Diyos. Ngayon, kaya si Jesus nung siya mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, ang tinubos niya sa krus ng Kalbaryo, hindi lamang ang kasalanan ng tao kasama ang karamdaman ng tao. Ang sabi sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, but was made sin for us, so that we can be made as the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5.21 Sa Tagalog, si Jesus na walang kasalanan ay ginawang kasalanan. Idinagan sa kanyang lahat-lahat ng kasalanan ng tao, past, present, and future upang kayo at ako na ipinanganak sa kasalanan ay magawang katwir ng Diyos kay Kristo Yesus. Yun po ang redemption natin sa kaparusahan at kapangyarihan ng kasalanan. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Tinubos tayo sa kapangyarihan at kaparusahan ng kasalanan. How about karamdaman, sakit karamdaman? Sa Isaiah 53, verse 5. Everybody read. He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon Him, and by His wounds we are healed. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Anong sabi ron? Who Himself bore our sins in His own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, and by whose stripes, by whose stripes you were Healed. Sa Tagalog, si Yeso Kristo'y nabugbog dahil sa ating mga kasalanan. Siya'y nasugatan dahil sa ating mga kalikuan. Binayaran niya ang presyo ng kapayapaan. Siya nagbayad ng ating kapayapaan. Sa kanyang wounds or stripes, sa kanyang mga latay, kayo at ako ay tumanggap ng kagalingan. Kayo at ako ay tumanggap ng kagalingan. Sa mata ng Diyos, Pinagaling na tayo. Binigyan na tayo ng kagalingan doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo 2,000 years ago. Binigyan tayo ng kaligtasan sa kamatayan sa impyerno, kaligtasan sa kaparusahan ng kasalanan 2,000 years ago. Nung siya gawing kasalanan, wala siyang kasalanan, siya'y, nag, siya'y ginawang kasalanan nung siya mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Wala siyang sakit, ginawa siyang sakit upang sa kanyang mga latay na tinaglay, kayo at ako'y tumanggap ng kagalingan. Siya'y mayaman sa lahat. Pero siya'y naging dukha. 2 Corinthians 8, 9, please. Everybody read with understanding. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though He was rich, yet for your sakes He became poor, so that you, through His poverty, might become rich. Kalaoban ng Diyos na kayo at kayo magkaroon ng kayamanan, kasaganaan ng buhay. Ayaw ng Diyos ng kanyang mga anak ay naghihirap, nagpapalimos. Nakatani ka lang sa utang. Anong sabi ng Diyos sa Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18? Remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms His covenant which is swore to your forefathers as it is today. Binigyan kayo at ako ng Diyos ng ability to produce wealth or to make wealth. Ang masama, yung wealth, yung pera, ang ating Diyos-Diyosan. 
Maraming tao, sobra-sobrang kayamanan, pero hindi makatulog sa gabi kasi yung kayamanan ng kanilang Diyos, Diyosan. Money is not the root of all evil. It is the love of money that is the root of all evils. Amen? Kaya holistic ang redemption ng Panginoon. Holistic. Ibig sabihin ng holistic, redemption, spiritual redemption, physical redemption, and financial redemption. Amen? Palapangan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-pray, balik tayo sa James chapter 5, verse 14, verse 15. I want to emphasize to you because I believe in my heart there will be healings and miracles in our midst right now, few moments from now. Again, everybody read, Is any one of you sick? He should call the elders of the church, the church here, the local church, to pray over him or her. Anoint him or her with oil. Anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Ang elders of the church, ang mga leaders po rito, mga pastor dito, from me, sila Pastor Beng, Magallanes, at yung mga elders of the church, merong authority. May authority, ano? To pray for the sick. To pray for the sick. Anoint him or her with oil. Ang anointing with oil Anointing with oil represents or symbolizes the power and the works of the Holy Spirit. Tandaan ninyo, kapag wala ang works and power of the Holy Spirit, hindi malala lang ang buong mundo. If you study carefully at the beginning of the entire universe, God, the Holy Spirit moved or hovered over the waters, and then God said, Let there be light, and the light was... Let there be a firmament and the firmament was. Before God started creating the different creations in Genesis chapter 1, God waited for His Holy Spirit to move. When the Holy Spirit moved, then He started creating. Mami, mami, we will sing that will invite the Holy Spirit to come down and move. And during the moves of the Holy Spirit, you can get the miracle you want if you have faith. If you have faith. This is a deeper teaching on how to procure miracles and supernatural blessings. You have to wait for the move of the Holy Spirit because God the Father Himself and God the Son, the co-creator of heavens and earth in Genesis chapter 1, waited for the Holy Spirit to move. And now here, is anyone sick among you? He should call the elders of the church, oh, pray over him, anoint him with oil, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord, only in the name of the Lord, because the name of the Lord has the franchise. The name of the Lord is the franchise holder for God the Father to answer the prayers. There is no any other name. And the prayer offered in faith, prayer offered in faith, prayer and faith. Everybody say prayer and faith. Prayer and faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Now, I want to, to, to emphasize to you three things before we pray for healings and miracles. Anointing with oil. Anointing oil. Let's see Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. I just want to complete in your mind, in your heart, this very important uh, teaching. Everybody read, It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Anointing oil symbolizes the power of the Holy Spirit. Yung yoke sa mga probinsya, yung kalabaw, ay nasa singkaw sa laeg, hinihila yung mabigat na kariton Andito ang burden sa kanyang, sa kanyang leeg, yoke, symbolizes the burden that a man or a woman is carrying whether sickness or disease or poverty, financial bankruptcy, or any kind of negative things in this world. That yoke refers to the works and wiles of the devil according to full gospel scholars. The, the works and the wiles of the devil shall be destroyed. By the anointing power of the Holy Spirit, represented by oil. 
So mga mga mga, papahiran namin kayo ng langis. Believe that you are experiencing the anointing power of the Holy Ghost and you will be freed from the bandages of the devil. Amen? You will be victorious. Amen? Palapakan natin ng Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. So, anointing with oil. Number two, prayer. Offered in faith. Prayer. Everybody say prayer. 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 May secret sa prayer. Marami, pero isa lang ang bibigay ko sa inyo because of lack of time. John chapter 16, verse 23 and verse 24, please. Everybody read. Jesus is the one speaking here. In that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, in my name, He will give, he will give it to you. He will give it to you. Verse 24, Heater to or until now have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Ang ibig sabihin nito ni Jesus, pagdating ng araw na yon, na ako'y wala na dito sa mundo, nasa kanang kamay na ako ng aking ama, ascended unto the right of the Father, wala na kayong dapat itanong sa akin. Katotohanan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, ano man ang hingin ninyo sa aking ama, sa pangalan ko, ibibigay sa inyo. Hanggang ngayon ay wala kayong hinihingi sa pangalan ng aking ama. Kung kanginkanginong pangalan ang ginagamit ninyo, humingi kayo sa aking ama sa pangalan ko at ibibigay sa inyo ng malubos ang inyong kagalakan. Isa lang ang sekreto ng prayer sa Bible. Isa lang ang pangalang may franchise sa langit pagdating sa prayer. At ito yung pangalan ni Jesus. Amen? Basahin ninyo ang Bible mula sa first page ng Genesis to last page of Revelation. Wala kayong makita ibang pangalan. Gumapit ba tayo ng microscope? Kaya napakasarap maging Bible-believing Christian. Napakasarap na maging Bible-believing Christian, hindi fanatics. Ang mga JIL people sinasabi ko, you are not religiously fanatic. You are enlightened believers because you know whom you believe and you know why you believe. You know the truth of the Bible. Kaya ho, kailangan natin sa prayer, pangalan ni Jesus. So anointing with oil, prayer, and faith. Kailangan merong faith. Why? Hebrews 11 verse 6, It is impossible to please God without faith. He that cometh to God must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of them who diligently seek Him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Kahit magtira tayo sa templo, kahit matulog tayo sa mga church building, kahit na ano pang gawin natin, without faith, it is nothing. Tingnan niyo James chapter 1, verse 6 and verse 7. Everybody read. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind that man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. Kapag tayo ay nagpe-pray ng wala tayong faith, wala tayong pagtitiwala, wala tayong pananampalataya, puno tayo ng doubt, sana pagalingin mo ako, sana, sana, sana. Ibig sabihin nun, prayerless faith yun. Faithless prayer yun. Faithless prayer. Sana, sana, makatapos sa pag-aaral ng mga anak ko. Yun ang mga prayer na, na nagbibigay ng sakit sa puso ng Diyos. Sana, sana, sana. Walang faith. Kasi sana. Hindi ka sure. Bakit ka hindi ka sure? Hindi mo alam ang pangako ng Diyos sa Bible eh. Pwede, meron, meron bang prayer na, Panginoon, kung kalooban mo yung akin tatay, nanay, asawa, anak, ay maborn again. Kung kalooban mong maligtas sila sa impyerno, ay gumawa ka ng himala na sila maborn again. That is a, a faithless prayer. Iniinsulto mo ang Diyos. Nakalagay sa Bible na matay si Jesus para lahat ng tao maligtas. Kalooban ng Diyos na ang iyong asawa kahit na punong-puno ng bisyo ay maligtas. Kaya ang prayer natin, iaayos natin. Ang daming klaseng prayers. Mayroon prayer of submission, may prayer of petition, mayroon prayer of worship, etc., etc. May corresponding rules and regulations. Pero pag ikaw ay humihingi ng, through prayer of petition, nagdidemanda ka sa iyong amang sumasalangit, you do not entertain no. You are only entertaining the answer yes. Palapakan mo na sandali ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, what is faith? What is faith? Faith is the substance of things of Evidence, evidence, evidence of things that sin. Everybody say, faith is evidence of things not seen, not felt. Hindi pa natin nakikita, pero pag may faith tayo, hando na yun. Amen? 
Ngayon, pupunta na tayo sa healing. Ano? Si Jesus Christ is the healer. Nung bago siya, mag, bago siya magsimula ng kanyang ministry, He introduced His ministry in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Sabi ni Jesus sa Luke chapter 4 verse 18, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to give sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them to their bruise. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Sinimula na ni Jesus ang kanyang ministry. Three years lang, three years lang. Sabi niya sa Matthew, sabi ng Matthew chapter 9 verse 35, Jesus Christ went to different cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, after teaching and preaching, healing every manner of sickness and disease. Every manner of sickness and disease. Kay sakit sa ulo yan, kay cancer yan, it makes no difference to God. Because God's power is constant. It does not change. Minsan, lumapit ang centurion sa kanya na isang military officer. Panginoon, have mercy on my servant. He is, he is dying. He is terribly ill. Sabi ni Jesus, okay, I will go to your house and heal him. No, 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 no. You don't need to come to my house, Lord. The roof of my house is not worthy for you to come. Speak only thy word. Speak only thy word. Speak only thy word. I know my servant will be healed. Matthew 8 verse 8. Speak only thy word. Speak only thy word. I know my servant will be healed. And Jesus was amazed. Jesus was amazed. He said, I have never seen this kind of faith, great faith, even among the people of God, even among the Israelites. And this centurion is a Gentile. He, he was not a part of the people of God. But because he released his faith, and Jesus said, okay, you go home now, you already receive what you believe. You go home now, you already receive what you believe. So the centurion officer went back to his house, and, and, and he, he found his servant who was dying, terribly ill, miraculously healed. And he said, when did you receive your healing? At the time when Jesus said, You already receive what you believe. Listen carefully, please. The formula is this. For financial, for physical, for spiritual, for any kind of miracle you want from the Lord, you will receive what you believe. You will receive what you believe. Let it be done according to your faith. Let it be done according to your faith. What does it mean? Another illustration para maintindihan natin. God's power is constant. If you if you studied physics, God's power is constant. Constant does not change. But the level of faith of man is changing. Changing. Sometimes your level of faith is as big as one inch. And Jesus said, "Receive what you believe." Let it be done according to your faith. In other, in, other, in other instances, let it be done according to your faith. If your faith is as big as one inch, you can be intended to receive one inch of blessings and miracles. Let it be done according to your faith. If your faith is as big as four inches or five inches, you'll be intended to receive a five inches blessings or miracles. Why? Because God said, let it be done according to your faith. According to your faith. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The producer of faith is not religion. The producer of faith is not any any religious leader. The producer of faith is Jesus Christ through His word. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. So beloved, if you want to be victorious, successful, healthy, living longevity of life with maximum productivity before the eyes of God and before the eyes of eternity, hallelujah, you comply and implement the promises of God. And you will do great things in your earthly existence. Hallelujah. And you will be serving God. Before I close in this teaching, don't forget the quality 
of our life in eternity depends on the quality of our obedience and faithfulness in serving God or doing His will and plan in our life here on earth. This is very biblical. Pag ginawa ho natin ang matapat na pamumuhay, pagharap natin kay Jesus, we can expect to hear the sweetest words from the lips of Jesus. What's that? Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with your things. I will make you in charge or ruler with many things. Come now and enter into the presence of your Lord or your Master. Matthew chapter 25, verse 21, repeated in verse 23. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with few things. I will make you a ruler or in charge with many things. May promotion ho sa eternity. Hindi totoo na akala ng iba dun sa langit, pantay-pantay ang lahat ng tao parang komunista. Hindi ho. Meron different positions of authority and responsibility depending on how you serve God here on earth. Amen? Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Ngayon, yung sweetest words, merong counterpart ho yun. Ano yung sweetest words na counterpart ng, ng sweetest words? Bitterest words. Bitterest. Napakapait. Pag narinig natin yun sa libibig ni Jesus, buti pa hindi natin pinanganak dito sa mundo. Ano yun? On that day, Jesus said, A multitude of people will come to me and they will tell me, Lord, Lord, why did you close the door of heaven to us? We have been calling unto your name. We even prophesied in your name. We even cast out demons in your name. We even made miracles in your name. Lord, why did you close the door of heaven to us? We have been calling unto your name. And Jesus said, I will tell this multitudes of people on that day, get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. I do not know you. Not everybody who calls me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. Only those, only those who obey the will of my Father in heaven. Speaking of obedience, don't forget Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best of the land. Amen? Let's give God one Applause. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Tumayo tayong lahat sandali. Now we will go to miracle time. Anyone of you who needs any miracle of the Lord, God has it. Christ is the answer for all our needs. But before we, we, we do this, glory to God. Let us sing. Let us invite the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the executive officer. The Holy Spirit is the chief executive officer among the triune God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. He is the chief executive officer. He is the one executing and implementing the promises of God accepted and believed and acted upon by His people. Remember this, when the promise of God is shared or preached and believed, accepted and acted upon, the promise of God will come to pass. Whether spiritual blessings, whether physical blessings, whether financial blessings. So, raise up your hands please. Before we ask the Holy Spirit to come, be sure that we have surrendered our life to Jesus. Be sure that we have received Jesus as our Lord and Savior and God of our life. Just follow me with a simple prayer. If you are willing to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and God of your life, follow me with a simple prayer. Simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the only begotten Son of God who became man and died on the cross of Calvary died on the cross of Calvary because of our sins because of our sins you shed your holy blood you shed your holy blood your sinless blood your sinless blood for the remission of my sins for the remission of my sins i believe in my heart i believe in my heart you rose up from the dead you rose up from the dead for our justification for our justification lord jesus lord jesus forgive me for all my sins, inherited and committed sins, cleanse me with your holy blood shed in Calvary, purify my heart, come into my heart, I invite you Lord Jesus, 
Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my savior. Be my savior. Be my healer. Be my healer. Be my deliverer. Be my deliverer. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And my God. And my God. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your holiness. Fill me with your holiness. With your righteousness. With your righteousness. With your love. With your love. With your wisdom. With your wisdom. With your power. With your power. Help me to live this life. Help me to live this life. According to your perfect will. According to your perfect will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am saved. I am saved. I am now a child of the living God. I am now a child of the living God. I am a born again Christian. I am a born again Christian. I will serve you, Lord. I will serve you, Lord. As long as I live. As long as I live. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Feel me. Everybody say, fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. With your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. When God fills you with His Holy Spirit, you will receive power. Divine power. Spiritual power. Beyond political and economic power. Hallelujah. Let us sing, Come Holy Spirit, I need His Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Spirit, I need you. Come Holy Spirit, I pray. strength and thy power come with the strength and thy power come in thy own special way come in thy own special way tayo manahimik sandali shall we all be silent please in silence we can easily feel the presence of the Holy Almighty God, the Creator of heavens and the earth. Yes, I can feel the presence of the Holy Almighty God because Jesus said if there are two or three gathering together in His name, He is in their midst. The presence of God drives away the works of the devil. The presence of God destroys the works of the devil, including sicknesses, diseases, Poverty, financial troubles, and all works of the devil shall be destroyed by the presence of God manifested by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in our midst right now. Begin to open your mouth and say, Precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you in my heart in my spirit, in my spirit, come, come into my heart. Into my heart. I, receive you. I receive you by faith. By faith. I, receive you. I receive you. I receive. I receive the anointing power, the anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Father God in heaven, in Jesus' name, release now the fresh anointing power of the Holy Spirit upon your people. God inhabits the praises of His people. God is coming down when His people are praising Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, you can speak the heavenly language. You are filled. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. You are filled with the anointing power of the Holy Ghost that destroys the works of the devil. The works of the devil are hereby destroyed. Yes, sicknesses and diseases are works of the devil. They are now destroyed, canceled by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Receive, receive your miracle healings. Receive your divine healings. Receive, receive, receive all the benefits of Calvary. Not only salvation, but even healings, deliverance, miracles. Yes, packages of blessings, packages of blessings, spiritual blessings. Physical blessings, financial blessings. Receive, receive, receive. Have the liberty, have the liberty to praise the Lord. Have the liberty to welcome the gift of the Holy Spirit. These pastors will anoint all of you with oil. This is a prophetic gesture. Receive by faith the anointing that destroys literally the works of the devil. 
If you are sick, you will be healed. The manifestation of miracle healings will happen to you. From the crown of the head, of your head, of your soles, of your feet. You can easily understand the word of God, the Bible, once the anointing of the Holy Spirit is come unto you. Raise up your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Panginoon, sa oras pong ito, nilid mo kami sa anointing with oil service. Bless this oil. Incorporate this anointing oil with all the benefits of Calvary, with all the miraculous powers coming from you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, as I anoint your pastors here with oil, let heaven be open to them. Release unto them the new press anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord, with all kinds of miracles that they will be receiving all spiritual blessings, physical blessings, financial blessings, and all kinds of blessings that in turn, they will release those blessings to the congregation. They will release those blessings to the congregation. Lord, let their hands be the extension of your hands. Let their hands be the extension of your, of their, of your hands. Let their mind and their heart and their lips be the extension of yours. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the fullness of this anointing power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Receive the fresh anointing power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. to be here po sa inyo pong harapan. I, I was once uh, living in darkness po uh, way back to uh, 1998. I was a vice mayor of our town 1998-2001. Then I ran for mayor in 2001. I lost the election. Talo po ako doon. Uh, why? Sabi ni Lord sa akin later on, ang sabi niya, hindi ka pwede maging mayor ng bayan ng gumaka kasi ikaw ay namumuhay sa kadiliman. There is no Jesus Christ in your heart. Walang liwanag, walang ilaw. So, paano po mapapamunuan ang iyong bayan? Kung ikaw mismo na mamumuno ay namumuhay sa kadiliman. So, everybody ay mapapahama kasi susunod sa iyo. And the miracle of God ay nangyari po sa aking buhay. Because of the grace of God, I was sent in Saudi Arabia. Doon po ako na-convert as born-again Christian. At that time po, doon ko po nalaman ang totoong buhay that apart from Jesus Christ, we can do nothing. Walang kwentang buhay po yung naranasan ko noon. 
And at the time na I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, nakita ko po doon sa kanyang salita. Yung salita po ng Diyos, buhay, makapangyari ang salita. God is really good. And after seven years, bumalik po ako rito sa bansang Pilipinas. Marami na po hindi nakakakilala sa akin. And God really designed me to, again, lead the municipality of Gumaca. 2010, ako po'y kumandidato. Wala po akong pera, wala po akong barangay leaders, wala po akong mga, mga marami na po mga butante, hindi po ako nakikilala. Pero through the grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ, nanalo po ako nung election ng 2010. Sabi ni Lord, sige po, palakpan po natin si Lord. Sabi ni Lord, pwede ka na, pwede ka na mamuno sa iyong bayan. Kasi meron ka ng ilaw. Meron ka ng Jesus Christ. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, sabi nga niya, whoever follows me will never remain in darkness. Sabi po niya. Kaya sabi, sabi niya, pwede ka na mamuno sa iyong bayan kasi ang mga kababayan mo hindi na mapapahamak dahil ikaw mismo na nanundoon ang liwanag sa iyong dinaraanan. And again, comes election 2013. Alam po ninyo, it's really great. God is really good. Yun pong... Uh, Alamangan ko po noong 2010, ngayon po na doble. Kumita po ako ng daang ng milyon, pero naubos po lahat sa sugal. Pero sa pagpamahal po ng Panginoon, kinuha niya ako. So, unti-unti po akong bumalik sa Panginoon, pero 2000, 1995 pa, pinangaral na po ako ng mga kapasturan. Inaaya ako sa Panginoon, umuuo lang ako, pero di ako sumasama. So, noong pong katagalan, katagalan, puro pastor, Matagal po bago ako naisama sa Panginoon. So po, sa tingin ko po, yung kayamanan ay hindi po kailangan para maging tapat na lingkod ng Diyos. At nakita ko po, ang tunay na lingkod, hindi kailangan tumanggap ng kahit anong suhol. So salamat sa Panginoon, ginagamit niya ako ng kahit sa aming bayan man lang na maging example. At sana po, tayong lahat sa ating bayan-bayan, ay maging sample po tayo na hindi naman maligaya ang mayaman, ang maligaya yung napakalapit sa Panginoong Yesus. We're touched by the Lord and um, we're thankful dahil uh, as a family, um, na-experience namin yung anointing. Kasi uh, hindi lang kami mag-asawa, kundi alam ko na inatch ng Panginoong pati yung mga kids namin kasi right now may mga sakit sila. So, nananampalataya ako na after we leave this place, we already received the healing of the, of the Lord from our kids. So, Pag muna kayong mo siya kanya na magkaroon po ako ng baby boy na binabala ngayon. Ano po, salamat sa lahat. Praise the Lord po kasi po pinagaling po ako ni Lord yung aking balikat kanina na masakit. Pinagaling na po ni Lord. Nagpapasalamat ako dahil nakarate ako dito and then natanggap po yung blessing talaga at yung ano ng spirit of the Lord talaga. Thank you very much talaga dahil talagang feel na feel po yung ano ng Panginoon sa aking buhay na pumasok siya talaga sa akin. Maraming salamat. Yung nanasan ko kanina napaka sarap sa feeling kasi um, nasabi ko lahat sa kanya gusto kong baguhin yung mga habitual scenes so Um, ang tagal-tagal ko nang nagsa-struggle din kasi sa mga kasalanan na paulit-ulit. So kanina, sab sabi sa akin ni Lord na ito na yung parang mag-start ka ulit. Kasi sabi nga niya, ba diba, if you are born again, you are now in your creation, the old has gone, the new has come. So talagang napapasalamat ako sa kanya kasi siya lang talaga yung source of strength nating lahat. So yun, um, to God be the glory talaga.